Hello everyone, this is Sean from Ozark Family Homestead and several of you have requested a video on our feed system and uh, we're going to be doing that today as well as incorporating how we're going to be using that storage building that we put up uh, a little while ago. So I'm um, going to show you kind of how much feed we try to keep on hand and how we're going to store it and just kind of give you an idea how our feed system works today. Okay, so here's what the inside of the shed looks like when it's empty. Uh, when we did the shed video, we talked about how this is going to be used to store feed. So we're ready to go ahead and make that transition. So uh, it's right back here where we can pull up and easily uh, unload the feed. So uh, here it is empty, and I'm going to go ahead and be putting the barrels inside and show you what it looks like with those barrels. Well... You ever wonder how many 55 gallon barrels you can get in a minivan? Apparently it is six and it was really difficult to get six in there, but believe it or not, I pulled it off. Even the folks at the UPS store was absolutely amazed that I was able to squeeze six of these full size barrels in there and get them home. So I just wanted to show what this looked like in the van. Okay, so here are those six 55-gallon barrels that Miss Lisa sent us. Can you believe those barrels fit in that van? How in the world? Uh, it, was, it was like a magic trick, but it actually worked. So I want to show you a little bit. These are food-grade barrels. They're a really hard plastic. They have these uh, rings on them that caused the lid to, you can put the lid on and then seal them so i went ahead and, and took one off so you can kind of see how this works so you pop that off and then uh then you just got a lid and you just kind of see inside the barrel nice clean barrel so there's your your lids if you just needed to just set a lid on there uh, but then they uh but then they seal down, they'll lock down with this metal ring. So really super, super nice barrels. They're gonna work great. I just wanted to show them while they were out and just how amazing. And now I'm gonna um, arrange them in our storage shed. Okay, here's what they look like inside. Those six barrels fit nicely in here. Uh, it's gonna be you know, cow feed, as well as sheep and goat feed. And I'll come up with a system where we'll put the oldest, the, the feed that we currently uh, have on hand in the barrel and then start putting new feed and just rotate the barrels so that you're always using the oldest feed. And so uh, I'll uh, make a video when I make my feed run, which I want to try to do tomorrow if I can, and then kind of show you... Uh, the old system we had and how this is going to be a much better system and uh, looking forward to starting this much more efficient much safer a better way of sealing up the feed keeping mice out of it uh, where we can just pull right up here this is just an all-around better place to store the feed so I'll show you part of the problem here is currently I am stacking these bags in the shop and uh, mice get into them and moisture can get into them uh, and I'm even like trying to rebag them like I'll take the paper bags and I'll put them in an old uh, dog food bag it's just a little bit more moisture proof but still doesn't help that much with the mice and it just encourages mice to get into the shop so instead of having them stacked up here like this and haphazardly uh, laying around here and, and completely in the way uh, it's going to be a lot nicer to get them out of the shop and have them in that storage building and out there closer to the livestock. Okay, so uh, to get started today, went and picked up uh, some feed. I always do this in two loads. I go to one feed store and I pick up uh, feed for the cow. And then another feed store, I uh, get everything for the goat sheep, uh, the uh, turkeys, well, we're, we're raising turkeys. Uh, chickens, rabbits, cats, dogs. Uh, I, so 
one feed store I get everything except for the cow. I'm just happier and, and, and the price is better for the cow feed at, at another feed store. So shop around getting the best deal. So behind me is uh, 650 pounds of cow feed. I've got another 100 pounds that's in the cow shed right now. So uh, try to keep about 100 pounds uh, in the actual cow shed uh, where the milking is, uh, the milk stanchion. And then this is the storage uh, that we pull from to keep that supplied. So we try to keep uh, uh, two months worth of feed in this, uh, which is now going to be the storage building, which I'll be showing you. And I think because we're going to have more storage than we've had in the past, I think I'm going to up that and try to keep three months at a time uh, on hand. Now you might be asking, why would I keep an extra two months? Because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you never know what's going on. There's a lot of uncertainty. And I just, it's a peace of mind of knowing that I've got a couple of extra months of feed that I rotate through just in case feed is not available for whatever reason. Okay, so we're in here filling up barrels and it looks like if and, uh, Andrew can go ahead and put this last one in there. It looks like every barrel is gonna hold 250 pounds. Go ahead and see how this last 50 pounds goes in there. Well, I'll tell you what, you know what, I think we could probably squeeze 300 if we wanted to, uh, but that's what 250 pounds of feed takes up about, uh, looks like about 80 percent of that barrel there. Uh, pretty impressive. That's a lot of feed that we can put in those barrels. And of course they're waterproof, mouse proof. And having six of them in here, we'll split it between cow and sheep. It's going to give us uh, a lot more ability for long-term storage of feed. Okay, so uh, we filled up uh, about two and a third barrels here. Um, we can actually squeeze a little bit more uh, figuring it up with using three barrels. If I really top them all the way off, I can put more than 250 in them plus the 100 pounds. I can keep uh, 900 pounds of feed, which works out great because uh, I, I try to calculate it about 300 pounds per month. So I can start storing uh, 900 pounds and that'll give me three months worth. And what I'm going to do is the uh, the one that we're going to be pulling out of, I won't put the ring on it. I'll just leave the top on it where it'll just come off. Um, and it's it's enough that nothing can get into it, but you can get it off there real to get in and out of it. And then the uh, other two for, uh, you know, we'll go through that one. And then, you know, the following month, use that one. Then the following month, use that one. And just rotate back and forth. And then the ones that are for the next two months, I'll go ahead and put the ring back on them and, and seal those up. Okay, so I uh, just want to show you real quick. Uh, our big pile of bags. We're not going to just burn these. What we do is we keep these in the barn and then in the spring for the garden we uh, take these bags and we use them for weed barriers uh, all over the place. So these bags will be will be reused. We got Abigail out here and get her and David to take these bags to the barn where they go and that way they'll be ready uh, to be used uh, this coming spring on the garden. Okay, I just got back from the other feed store and just show you kind of the uh, buffet, a uh, wide variety of feeds for all these other different animals. So today what I ended up getting, in addition to uh, all that, uh, uh, all the cow feed I showed you earlier, now I've picked up, uh, this would be 250 pounds of sheep and goat feed. This is a 50 pound bag of cat food for the barn cats. And I got uh, 150 pounds of scratch and 50 pounds of layer pellets. And I just take that and I mix it together uh, for the uh, chickens. And then come around here. I've still got those turkeys I'm finishing off. Uh, I was buying a lot more than this, but uh, I think uh, another 100 pounds of game bird is probably all I'm going to need uh, until those turkeys are butchered. Uh, I got 50 pounds of rabbit feed, and only got 150 pounds of dog food. Normally I get 200 pounds, 
uh, but this month I only needed 150 pounds. I kind of had a little bit of a surplus. That happens. Seems like it, depending on the month, sometimes I, usually I buy four bags. Uh, sometimes I have to get five, and this time I only needed to get three to, to fill everything up. So uh, that just kind of varies. So this kind of give you, just kind of give you a look at what it looks like in that van. Everything except the cow feed. And sometimes it's more than this. When I've got uh, a bunch of meat birds, I'll have quite a bit uh, more of like meat maker uh, for those birds. But this is just kind of a typical month of the grocery haul for the livestock. Okay, well, so that was give you a little bit of an introduction of how we deal with feed issues and our new way of storing feed with this uh, storage building. Uh, Janice always, with her grocery hauls at the end, goes over the amount. So I'll go ahead and tell the amount. I budgeted $400 this month for feed, and I think I ended up with about $3 in change when it was all said and done. So I spent, uh, I think, about $397. Uh, that's on the low end. Uh, usually probably $450 to even $500 sometimes a month uh, when we get the, the meat birds. Uh, winter coming up, that'll change things up as far as chickens uh, because they will not have, they free range, but they won't have as much to eat. And, uh, you know, the cows, uh, sheep, goats, they are not 100% grain fed. Uh, they, they pasture, they graze, but that's pretty much over with at this point, especially with the dry weather. So uh, they've been uh, eating hay bales, so I've got bales of hay for them and then the grain is a supplement so uh so yeah we don't feed them a hundred percent grain like i think some people do i would like to point out uh as far as this project out here how much you the viewers are really helping us the uh the youtube channel this uh storage building came from a sponsor there's another video about that uh that was a blessing uh miss lisa blessed us with these barrels uh which was a huge blessing uh, to store this feed and I would point out even the uh, the foundation of this building that I built with uh, concrete blocks and uh, those uh, paver stones and some gravel came from Home Depot which we have had viewers uh, generously give us uh, gift cards to Home Depot so uh, everything uh, about the project today all the infrastructure helping us with the feed uh, you, the viewer, have played a critical role in helping us get things accomplished here, uh, just making things way better. Uh, we appreciate it and want to keep making videos and, and show you the, the how things are progressing here on our homestead. Hope you liked today's video. It's a little bit different. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give us a thumbs up. And until next time, thank you for watching Ozark Family Homestead. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark.